It's not easy to appear effortlessly charismatic while performing in front of some of the music industry's biggest names. Yet, that is precisely what Drake Milligan from Texas managed to do with his audition for the 17th season of America's Got Talent back in June of 2022. The 24-year-old sang his original song, Sounds Like Something I Do, with all the confidence of a superstar, leaving the judges and the audience in awe. As it turned out, Drake Milligan unfortunately did not end up winning the talent competition, but he did place third, and after that, Drake Milligan did end up with what one might consider an even sweeter deal. And now, almost a year after his appearance on America's Got Talent, let's talk about what the new Elvis of country is up to. Watching Drake Milligan's audition video is a surreal experience, mainly because he seems relatively more comfortable in his own skin while singing than other contestants on the show usually are. In that way, Drake's charm and charisma was somewhat new to both judges and viewers of the show. Despite claiming that he was nervous in the introduction segment of the audition, Drake and his band lit up the stage with the performance that earned them a well-deserved standing ovation. The whole audition felt almost like a concert, and in many ways, it could have been one since Drake and his band have performed in front of audiences before. More than that, Drake has had a bit of TV exposure as well. In fact, America's Got Talent isn't even the first talent show that Drake has competed on. But before getting into that, let's talk about what exactly made Drake interested in music in the first place. In an old interview, he revealed that he grew up on his parents' music. Born to James and Angela Milligan, a scrap metal recycling yard owner and a veterinarian in Texas, Drake claims his love for music probably blossomed due to his dad playing CDs in his car during drives. His mum too apparently had all the Waylon Jennings and Outlaw stuff that she loved. But it wasn't until he was around seven or eight that he discovered his idol, Elvis Presley, while out eating with his family in the form of an impersonator. He claimed to have found Elvis to be the coolest thing ever. Then, like most kids when they find something new that they'd like, try to collect as much information on the legend as possible. Take his songs, movies, dance moves, whatever young Drake could get his hands on, he'd learned. He wanted to be an entertainer, just like Elvis. And wouldn't you know it, Drake actually ended up playing Elvis on CMT's show Sun Records in 2017. The eight-part miniseries is where he realized that he'd like to try and make his own way as a songwriter and singer. In his introduction clip for America's Got Talent Season 17, he mentioned that he enjoyed impersonating Elvis at first. He'd put on the jumpsuits and dye his hair black, etc. But it wasn't until he performed a few of his older songs for the first time on a stage in front of people that he realized he wanted to pave his own way. Before America's Got Talent, Drake Milligan actually also auditioned on American Idol. He first appeared in ABC's American Idol Season 1, technically its 16th season, and covered a song instead of singing an original. He picked You Look So Good In Love by George Strait and managed to impress judges Lionel Richie, Katy Perry, and Luke Bryan, and even earned a ticket to Hollywood at 19 years of age. Why is it then we've never seen Drake Milligan in Hollywood or even on American Idol? Turns out Drake ended up quitting the show early. An old Instagram post revealed that he decided he simply wasn't ready for the platform yet, and that's when he decided to move to Nashville and work on his own EP. Most singers who end up going viral via America's Got Talent end up having a flourishing career after their successful auditional performance. That was not the case for Drake Milligan, who had already released an EP well before his time on AGT. The young singer-songwriter released his self-titled EP in 2021 under BBR Music Group. After initially rejecting him, BBR Music Group ended up signing with him six months later, and with the assistance of Tony Brown, the EP was released. He's also dabbled in Christmas music and released his song Cowgirl for Christmas in October of the same year. Unsurprisingly, after his audition, Drake Milligan's track Sounds Like Something I'd Do hit number one almost instantaneously. Drake could have easily quit the show after reaching an audience that might stay loyal to him regardless of whether he went back to compete, but he decided not to, and that was praiseworthy in its own right. According to Judge Simon Cowell, his performance of Kiss Goodbye All Night on the show, another original song, prompted Simon Cowell to deem his performance the best of the night alongside Howie Mandel. Though Drake Milligan did not end up winning season 17 of America's Got Talent, that honor was given to dance troupe The Mayas, he did secure third place, and with it, a large dedicated audience who wants more music from him and his band. Of the overwhelming support and reach he's managed to get via AGT, 
Drake said it was life-changing and everything he dreamed of as a songwriter and as a singer. All of AGT's videos featuring Drake have thousands of views on YouTube. The one of his audition has over 8 million views, so it's safe to assume that Drake did not let his loss at the show get to him. As a finalist on America's Got Talent, it's clear he knows how much the platform is worth since he hasn't wanted any time to start building a career right away, profiting off the relevance and success he's received at the talent competition. In fact, his debut album, Dallas Fort Worth, was announced before his AGT finale performance, a performance assumed to be his best on the show. While riding the high of that AGT fame, Drake dropped his debut album on the same night AGT results were announced. The album, released on September the 15th, was a 14-song collection produced by Tony Brown and Brandon Hood and showcased Drake's Texan roots prominently throughout. It's been described as a true country album with a neo-traditional sound and authentically country storytelling center stage. In his press release talking about the album, Drake stated that as a lifelong country music fan, it was his dream to make a full-length record that paid homage to traditional country roots, while still leaving room for new sounds and energy to be brought to the genre. The album, much like Drake's self-titled EP, was quick to top the charts. The album has both his hit original songs from AGT, Kiss Goodbye All Night, and Sounds Like Something I Do. Naturally, the next step was to take the show on the road, a tour that is still ongoing and tickets to which can be purchased on his website. The tour, based in the US at the moment, seemed to be such a hit that eight additional shows were added by the end of September. He even performed at Grand Ole Opry on October the 5th, which was a huge step forward in the young singer's career. His idols had performed at the Opry before, so this debut was incredibly meaningful to Drake. After that, opportunities started lining up for Drake Milligan, who wasted no time in grabbing them. In October, he joined Gary Allen in Vegas for his ruthless tour. He's even been invited to Stagecoach, a popular country music festival held in California, headlined by the likes of Luke Bryan, Kane Brown, and Chris Stapleton. He'll be performing on the first day of the festival, April the 28th, and asked fans to grab their passes as soon as possible. Since it was America's Got Talent's latest season that Drake competed in, it would be easy to assume that he hasn't had a chance to do much more than focus on his tour, given that the finale premiered less than a year ago. But Drake does not seem to be sitting still, as he's been booking festival shows and performing on national TV left and right. Take The Kelly Clarkson Show, on which he was a recent guest and performed his hit song, Sounds Like Something I Do. He was also named one of Pandora's artists to watch in 2023 and a part of the CMT Listen Up class of 2023. Drake is most active and gives constant updates about his life on his Instagram account, with over 80,000 followers. He also shares videos of him casually singing on the app. Instagram is also where he shares career updates, and he frequently does interactive live streams as well, ensuring that he stays connected to his fans.